It's a time of year again to hit the road and have a little fun. Nearly half of adult Americans plan to pack up the car for vacation travel this summer, according to a study from Monkey Survey. And couples and couple that with declining inventories of gasoline, and we may be looking at rising gas prices again this year. Right now, a gallon of gas in Louisville is 369, and it's trending upward just in time for Derby. Wave News anchor Don G is here to help us make ends meet as families do their best to make memories on the road as well. Yeah, I saw it at 385 this morning. Oh, at hurt you, 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 you cut corners here and there and then you fill a tank up at a 75 or hundred dollars. Yeah, it hurts. Yeah. Okay. So the price of gas, you all know this, it changes by the minute. You can go to work in the morning. It's one price, right? You come home and it's 10 cents higher and you say to yourself, why didn't I get gas on the way to work? Right? With inflation on everything still looming, taking a family trip, it can feel intimidating. We're looking at a situation now where gasoline prices are probably gonna go up a little bit more uh, before they stabilize. David Holt of the Consumer Energy Alliance warns families to be prepared because the price at the pump may not be done rising. It's gone up very, very quickly. With a rise in oil prices comes a rise in gas prices gas's main ingredient and we saw the price of oil go up more in one day than it has in over two years so everyone's starting to feel it now at the pump uh and you know obviously summer driving season is just a month away as the price of oil goes so goes the price of gasoline and so goes the price of diesel fuel and when diesel fuel prices change because diesel is used in these big trucks and every time you call Amazon and you have something delivered to your home, now prices for everything goes up. Everything that's delivered by truck is now more expensive because the price of diesel goes up. That includes groceries, medical supplies, clothing, building materials, and more. Individual families feel it in their pocketbook. Uh, folks are making hard choices. Refineries in the U.S. also transition to summer blend fuel, which temporarily constricts supply and boosts prices. Summer gas produces less emissions and is more expensive to produce. When you get to $4 and above for a gallon of gasoline, sometimes folks that are at the poverty level, sometimes folks that are holding down two jobs, raising their families, are having to make hard decisions between uh, groceries and food for the house or that gallon of gasoline to get to work. To get as much as you can out of that dollar bill and that gallon of gas, Holt gives these tips. Uh, a heavier car uses more gasoline. Get some of that junk out of the trunk. The lighter the car, the less gas you will use. Uh, rolling down your windows puts drag on your vehicle, which uses more gasoline. On the highway, windows up and air condition on low. Make sure your tires are properly inflated. And most of us have to use our cars, but use them wisely. Combine trips, so don't just go from home to the store and then back home and then home to work and back home. Try to combine it where you're making one trip for multiple errands instead of multiple er mul multiple trips. All right, here are a few other things that you can do. Every penny counts. Check with AAA or check the app's Gas Buddy or Gas Guru to make sure you can find the cheapest gas prices where you are. Make sure you know where you're going driving round and round because you can't find your destination, not only waste your time, but waste your gas. Last, consider using a gas, uh, gas rewards credit card that can help offset high costs at the tank. And don't forget those loyalty cards that sometimes knock off as much as 10 cents a gallon. Helping you make ends meet. I'm Dawn G. Thanks, Dawn. Now